What's going on guys? It is Wednesday, just August 2nd, and in this episode of Pokemon Go, I'm just going to be talking about um, what's been going on over the past week. Uh, so basically, um, as you know, Pokemon Go Fest uh, happened on July 22nd, and it was good for people across the world but for people in Chicago uh well you heard how it how it all uh, went over there so you know I mean it I'm I'm guess I'm glad I didn't go to Chicago but I guess they weren't expecting that, like they thought that Niantic and the cell cellular carriers thought that they'd be able to handle it but I guess not but it did end on a high note. At the end of Pokemon Go Fest, trainers around the world contributed enough, caught enough Pokemon to bring the challenge windows up to gold and were able to unlock the mystery challenge, which was Lugia. And Lugia was submitted to everyone's accounts that attended and successfully checked into Pokemon Go Fest. Then, after Pokemon Go Fest, um, the bonuses um, um, got released around the world for 48 hours, and those bonuses were double XP, double Stardust, double Candy, um, less distance on your buddy and less distance distance on your eggs everything was pretty much a bonus which was awesome from those challenge windows I was able to grind myself to level th over level 38 so now I am this quote this far into level 38 I'm about 1 million in pictures there and the reason I didn't record really is because basically I really wanted to take advantage of the whole event that went on throughout those 48 hours like po catching as many Pokemon as I could uh, grinding XP getting Stardust I find it a lot harder to do when recording at the same time and as you guys know you know I don't have a good screen recorder either uh, I'm gonna try Apple's screen recorder when iOS 11 comes out. That'll be in September. Uh, but I won't be playing much because I'll be in school. So, you know, it's difficult, but it is what it is. And also, from the aftermath of Pokemon Go, legendary raids have been appearing around the world. As you guys know, Lugia and Articuno were introduced around the world um, on July 22nd. Now, I'm going to not talk about a lot about legendary Pokemon in this video. Um, I'm going to try and um, make that in a separate video, which will be coming very soon. But, yeah. Basically, I just wanted to tell you what's been going on, you know, why I didn't really record all this week. And, yeah, the main reason because I wanted to focus more on the game uh, than other stuff. Um, it was an extremely fun week. I'm sure people that did go to Pokemon Go Fest uh, had fun, not because they weren't able to play the game, but because they were able to meet people there that are, you know, famous for playing the game. Like, uh, Trainer Tips Nick, Reversal, uh, Twintendo, all those guys, you know. You meet a lot of pe people playing this game. And I, my experience from playing Pokemon Go um, over the past year uh, has been absolutely phenomenal. I have absolutely fallen in love with this game. It's been every, it's been like I always do this in my spare time. And that's why reason what one of the reasons why I'm level 38 because you know, I've contributed to the game. I've contributed to my team 
and I'm really happy about that. And for 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 me and my um, friends that live in Kingston, um, we had our own little Pokemon Go Fest um, downtown at Confederation Park. Uh, we had lures going on all day long. Uh, it was really exciting. Uh, and one of them even brought a cooler of water for all of us, which was very nice of her. And almost everybody in my city came down to the park and played Pokemon with lures going on. It was an amazing experience. We were able to catch lots. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't really find out. We kind of knew when the challenge windows were for GoFest, but because they were having a lot of problems over there, um, you know, the first challenge window was a success, then the second got postponed, and then after that, the, the rest of the afternoon was really rocky, and, you know, they didn't have any challenge windows. But that didn't stop us. We just caught as many Pokemon as possible, um, regardless of type, um, and contribute, and the whole world was able to contribute enough that the legendaries were released, which I'm sure would have happened either way. So it was an amazing experience. Uh, and then over the past 48 hours after that event, I spent most of my time in Queens Campus University, uh, where you can catch lots of small Pokemon like Spinarak, Centred, Pidgey, Rattata. Um, and really grinding my XP, I had lots of candies that I used for evolving, and that's one of the reasons why is I was able to grind over 2 million XP, I believe. I was about half, almost halfway through level 37, and then when the event ended, I was 900,000 um, into level 38. So I believe that's almost 2 million XP. Well, over 2 million XP, which is crazy. You know, I'm. it makes me look forward to the next double XP event, you know. But I probably will not make it to level 40 by the end of the summer because I'm going to be going back to school um, full time from September to April and to May 1st. And I really won't be able to play that much. It's one of the reasons why I'm trying to, uh, I have two gyms in, at, at my college and one physical Pokestop. That's really hard to, and there's lots and lots of little Pokemon that spawn there. The same as Queens, Pidgey, Rattata, Spiders, Centrids, Owls, you know, that, that, that stuff. And there's a lot that spawn there too. And I cannot get gather enough Pokeballs in while I'm there to catch the amount of Pokemon that are there while I'm in school. So the one of the things that I'm trying to do is get both of my gyms at the college the gold uh, gym badge so that you get more items when you spin. And it's coming along okay now. One's one of them is bronze and the other is silver. I'm just putting in blissies in both of them as much as I can and just keeping on top of it. But it's been really hard because, as you guys probably know, um, over the past few days, Pokemon have been losing their motivation 10% an hour, uh, regardless of whether it's over 3,000 CP or not. And I'm not sure why that happened, but basically Niantic released an update, um, which included a fix for that, but I'm not really sure if they did or not, because, um, because it's still happening. So I'm not exactly sure if they fixed that, but basically I'm just going to go on to this page here, and while I'm into this, I'll read you the, up, the small update. Okay, so the... Updates for um, this update was for was came out a couple of days ago uh, for both Android and iOS on July 29th, and um, trainers is 
game is in the process of being updated to version blah blah blah, blah for Android, version blah 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 for iOS devices. And the the update notes are Spark has returned to appraise Pokemon for Team Instinct. Welcome back, Spark. Hope you had a great vacation or wherever you were. <laughs> Resolved a motivation decay bug impacting Pokemon with less than 3,000 CP. Hmm, well, I haven't seen evidence of that yet, but uh, hopefully it is fixed. Resolved a bug causing Pokemon Go to freeze after consuming potions too quickly. I'm not sure if I've encountered that or not. I'm not sure. Resolved a bug causing Pokemon Go to freeze after all six Pokemon faint during a raid battle. That I have experienced. And you know what? I think it, I experienced it yesterday. And after I installed this update. So, Niantic, did, Niantic, did you fix it or not? And then resolved an issue causing Pokemon causing iPhone 6 devices to crash. That's my phone, the iPhone 6, two years old. And yes, it has been crashing a lot. And I can tell you, uh, I'm actually used to it. Some people say to me, my God, Matt, are you like, like, how do you get used to that? And I just say to them, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it has been, and I think it still is. So, I don't know. You know, you may, you wonder when they release an update whether they actually fixed the things that they say they fixed or not. You know, and then you install the update, and then just a couple days later, it's still happening. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to give it time. Maybe it will fix itself eventually. But, yeah. So that's the update. And as I'm sure you know, raid battles are no longer appearing in eggs right now. Basically, they're just popping up automatically, and they have a, a two hour time limit on them versus an hour. What's happening when the legendary Pokemon Lugia and Articuno came out a week ago? So, yeah, I'm not sure when the eggs are going to return. And if you're doing legendary raid battles, those do not count against your raid medal inside your profile. Only the level 5 do not count, and that's really all I've been doing. I did two, two Tyranitar raids yesterday, and that was the first time in a while that I've done raids over that amount. Raids under level 30, uh, under level 5. Anyway, so yeah. So I want to say, end this video by saying just thank you to everybody who has supported me playing this game, all my friends in Kingston, and some of you on my channel. I know I don't have that many subscribers, but I want to thank everybody for who has supported me playing this game. I've absolutely loved playing it and will continue to do so. Eventually I'll get that level 40 soon. So thank you everybody for watching and I will be making a video very soon of the legendary Pokemon, all the info that are on the legendary Pokemon, I will be covering in the next video, uh, explaining, you know, when, how long they're around for, what their weaknesses are, and you know, all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.